Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Beer Reviews. Back at you today with another one. What I'm looking at is a beer from Mighty Squirrel Brewing Company there out of Waltham, Massachusetts. This is the Cloud Candy. It's a double dry hops New England style IPA, clocking in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. This beer is so popular around here uh, in my part of Massachusetts. All the restaurants, bars have it on draft, cans, um, all the dates, you know, you go buy it in the store are usually pretty fresh. This one was canned on February 24th of 2023, so a couple weeks old um, at the time of this review. All right, and I have had this beer many times. I thought I did a review, but I was looking through my channel and I couldn't find one, so I guess I'm going to do one now. Okay, go ahead and pour it up. One thing about this particular IPA, New England style IPA, is it has a lot more stone fruit and uh, other flavors. It's not like your traditional tropical fruit forward New England IPA. Maybe this one will be different, but uh, we'll see. So it's a little bit darker orange than a lot of the New England style IPAs. I would say about a three finger head, creamy, off-white. So there is citrus right up front, some like tangerine citrus notes. And then you get some stone fruit, some nectarine, peach. There's a little bit of like a wheat bready malt note. It smells really good. Um, and it does say on the label, tropical aromas, notes of papaya, mango, and star fruit. So maybe the star fruit is what I'm picking up on that gives it like an interesting stone fruit type of thing for me. But papaya, mango, there is a touch of mango, but typically when I think of like a traditional New England IPA, pineapple, mango, and then orange citrus. So this one with the star fruit, and that stone fruit for me. Papaya, I'm not so much getting papaya on the aroma. It definitely smells juicy and it's it's uniquely different on the aroma than a lot of the New England IPAs. Um, it smells delightful, so without further ado, let's get into the brew. Cheers. Mm. It's really nice palette you get. Tangerine citrus right up front. I'm getting a little bit of stone fruit. There is something else there that I can't quite place. Maybe that's star fruit. I, I'm not familiar with star fruit. I don't think I've ever even had star fruit. Um, but it is nice and fruity. It's uniquely different. It really is. Um, if you blindfolded me and gave me four different New England IPAs, I... I feel like I'd be able to pick this one out in a crowd because it is so different uh, from, from what most people are used to with the style. It does have a little bit of a bitterness on the back end as well. It kind of rounds it out. It's got a little earthy hop bite, which is nice. The body with this is light to low medium. I would say light. I'm so used to drinking these double IPAs at eight plus percent. A six and a half percent IPA is almost borderline watery for my personal palate. But if you're just a, if you drink a lot of regular IPAs, this one would be, I would say probably medium body, but <clears throat> get used to those thicker, uh, more full bodied IPAs, then this one is definitely not that. Um, but it's, it's not watery. It's very flavorful. You get a lot of the, um, the mango, and the stone fruit, maybe a little star fruit as well. Nice and bready in the middle with that earthy hot note on the back end and moderate bitterness, really. Uh, so it's nicely balanced. You could drink quite a few of these, I think, at 6.5%. Drink three or four of them and have a good time uh, without getting too crazy. Um, and like I said, up here in my area, you can buy this stuff fresh just about anywhere. On draft, it's that much better, but 
It's really enjoyable out of the can. Nice head retention and glass lacing. Medium carbonation, nice prickly carbonation with this. This is a solid A for me. It's a 95, 95 out of 100. Really enjoyable stuff. It's unique. It's a lot different than the standard New England IPAs around here. And that's a good thing. I mean, not that it's, it's just different, you know. It's one of those things you have to try for yourself and compare it to the other New England IPAs in the area. But I can, I can assure you that it's a lot different than most of the ones that I've tried. Uh, and I've tried quite a few. If you've been watching my channel, uh, you know that I've, I review a lot of these New England IPAs, especially since I moved up here to Massachusetts from Georgia. This is one of my go-to styles now. Um, I love it. So there you go. 95 out of 100 for the Cloud Candy New England style or New England, not New England style. It is a New England IPA because it's brewed right here in New England and it's a wonderful beer. Um, so buy it, try it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.